Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Addison, whatever time you're listening, and thank you for joining us for our ASD Chat for All podcast. We have lots of fun and exciting things on the horizon for Addison School District 4, and this podcast allows us the opportunity to connect with our parents and guardians, families, and community to celebrate our students, their accomplishments, and so much more. Your hosts for this podcast are ASD4 Superintendent Dr. Nick Sutton and myself, Dean Constantopoulos. You interested in hearing more about what's going on in District 4? Come on in and have a chat. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us again for another episode of our ASD Chat for All podcast. My name is Dean Constantopoulos. I'll be one of your hosts this afternoon, and I'm joined with my co-host, Dr. Nick Sutton. You know, I, I, I don't mean to always talk about Say the something weather. besides the weather, Dean. Uh, but I mean, look at it outside, <laughs> though. It's so nice. You know, I, I think you're uh, forgetting mm-hmm. it is about six weeks until the end of school and that is not lost upon anybody that's always a happy time so i've i've been in other districts but the one thing that's universal is you know it's it's fun the end of the year you know obviously you get a little break over the summer but the Mm -hmm. other nice thing is is you get to reflect on all the good things that we've accomplished very true dean you are now a podcast veteran i'm telling you a year ago I've you, made it. It didn't exist. And we, now look at you. You're the voice of Addison. Oh, God. And I know it. I, <laughs> I, don't I accept know about it. That, but You're the voice of Addison. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And you know what? I I did actually think of one thing that is not weather related, <laughs> but this is for everybody listening. We have our final round of the Addison Great Shake yes. coming up. We've got some really cool things planned, some maybe really interesting and fun things for our kids so that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks so stay tuned for that but in the meantime we have an amazing guest with us here today we have rose marinelli am i saying that right you said it correctly excellent and she's one of our paraprofessionals here in the district so rose welcome and thanks for joining us thank you for having me awesome well let's hop right in then so we're familiar with who you are, but just in case anybody listening is not, tell us a little bit. So who are you? And then how long have you been working with ASD4? Okay, so um, I've been in the district now. I will be celebrating 20 years. Mm-hmm. I started as a temp, actually, in the health office. Yeah. And when we moved here from California in 2001, they were looking for volunteers. Mm-hmm. So I would volunteer a lot in the school. And then one time the principal says, hey, you know, are you interested in a position in the library? And I said, okay. So that's how I got started. Yeah. Three of my kids um, went through District 4. Mm-hmm. My oldest started in third, and then they all went through the district. Oh, that's great. So I, I have one question based off of something you just said. How do you feel about the transition from going to sunny California to coming to Illinois? Well, mm. my husband was in the Marine Corps, mm-hmm. so he grew up here in Addison, mm-hmm. ironically. Oh, cool. And so when he retired, we decided we were going to come back home. And we moved into his childhood home. Oh, nice. And my kids actually go to the school, went to the school that he went to. Oh, he was cool. one of the first classes to go through that school starting in kindergarten, way back in 1969. That is a really interesting kind of full circle. Yes. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, we absolutely. could do an entire podcast on that. I like <laughs> that. So, you know, I I. Th- I, I meet with parents, I encounter parents, I talk to parents, and um, a lot of times I, th- I feel like individuals understand that we have wonderful support personnel like yourself. Um, but let me ask you this, like within your perspective, if a parent came up to you and said, what exactly do, what exactly do you do? What is a typical day like? How would you summarize that? Where does your brain go? Well, um, actually, my day is a little bit different from some of the other paras because I do bus duty. But a lot of our paras do do extra duty. Mm -hmm. So my day starts at 8.15. And my job job is to help those students who need a little more help. If they need a little more help in reading or Mm -hmm. in math, that's what I'm there for. When testing time is there, I'm the one that will be there to support the student. Um. I've also done um, lunch duty, mm-hmm. which is what a lot of our other, our paras do. We are there for the students if they need to go to specials. Not so much my position, but there are other paras that will push will um, go with students into specials and assist 
the students or the teachers who are doing specials at that time. Um, I love it because I get to work with all different teachers. Yeah. I get to see the amazing things that they're doing and the kids and how they're, um, they respond to the teachers and how they respond to the paras is actually really, really, um, what word am I looking for? Rewarding, Yeah, I guess you could say. It's an amazing job to see what's going on in the school. Absolutely. That's what I love most about it is I know what's going on in I, the school. I, I love it because you probably, a, a, a lot of you folks are able to work with a lot of different kids mm -hmm. and a lot of different teachers. And so, yeah, you have a beautifully unique perspective. Yeah, and it sounds like there's not one kind of umbrella that, that being a para kind of fall, like there's not one thing that a para is designed to do right there. So uh, it sounds like your the job description kind of goes anywhere and everywhere. You're helping everybody and you're, you're getting around to different kinds of teachers, different kinds of classrooms, but the main focus being helping kids in need. That's, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So it, then, yes. Oh, so, uh, so then tell me, what is your favorite thing? If you could, if you can, oh, name that's going to be tough to answer. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about being a para? Oh dear, I I I love my teachers. Mm -hmm. I love it when the kids have that aha moment. When you've been teaching them something, a certain strategy over and over and over again, mm -hmm. and then they get it, and then I feel like, yay, I did my job. I love that. <laughs> so, do you thinking thinking on your time as a para? Do you have uh, any moments that you recall in particular that were like? really special moments that you had with maybe staff members or students or, or families or something like that? Um, what I find, a couple of them come to mind because I have been in the district for 20 years and I live here in Addison mm -hmm. and I shop around Addison a lot. A lot of times I will run into students and they'll say, do you remember me? I'm like, oh, remind me what your name is. And, they, and mm -hmm. when they say, I remember when. Yeah. Um, I started in the library for 10 years, so a lot of times the kids will bring up that time. Oh, cool. And they'll say, are you still at Lincoln? Yes, I'm still at Lincoln. Mm -hmm. So I love that, that they remember me. Yeah. That's to me, it's like I did something right if kids come back to me and they remember me. Oh, that's got to feel so special. Mm -hmm. oh, that's amazing. Wow. I, uh, I, I, I love that. I almost kind of want to take that a little bit further where it's like, you know, you – you obviously see the impact that you're able to have on kids. So my question is, is like, if somebody else out there in the community is like, man, I, I want to impact kids, but man, I, I don't know. I, I wonder if I could do a job like this. Like what, what's your advice to kind of say, no, if you're thinking about doing this, how would you encourage them to take that next step? Because we certainly have we have openings, and we're going to have openings next year. So if you ran into somebody that you didn't even know, and they came up to you and said, I listened to this podcast, and man, I I love listening to you say that you impact kids, and these kids remember you, but I'm nervous about joining a public school district. Like, What would you say to them? Oh, I would say do it. If you love kids, do it. It is worth it, especially if you have kids in the school. You are working the same hours, the same days as the kids, with exception to those occasional half days. Mm -hmm. But by all means, get involved. I think getting involved, this is a great way to get involved. Do it. Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. I love that. So so let me ask you then, uh, if, if somebody wanted to reach out to you to talk a little bit more about how to join uh, the group of paras or or getting a little bit more information about exactly what a para does. Uh, how could somebody reach out to you? Well, they could email me at my school address, always. Um, I don't have a problem with meeting with them at any time. Mm -hmm. um, I can also bring other paras from other schools. If they think it's a language barrier, that is not a problem in our district. Yeah. Because we have some paras who are Spanish speaking, some that are dual. We have Polish speaking. So if that's an issue, I can always bring somebody with me to translate. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So we really do have 
paras that can meet all the needs of our students. We do. That's we so do. cool. Well, thank you for that. And so, Nick, same question to you. Somebody wants to talk a little bit about how to apply to be a para or just uh, how to apply to be in the district or just being in the district in and of itself. What's the best way to reach out to you? Absolutely. I, I can steer them in the right direction. Uh, I have district email, like everybody else, in sutnetasd4.org. And... Like my friend Dean, I like hanging out on Twitter, mm-hmm. at Dr. Nick Sutton is an easy place to find me. Well, awesome. Dean, same question to you. Well, it's going to be Twitter as well. Uh, you can find me at AddisonSD4. Well, Rose, thank you again so much for joining us. This has been a ton of awesome information, and we're really hoping that people see uh, just how much our pair has put into Uh, our kids every single day. So thank you for giving us a glimpse into that. Thank you for having me. Of course. And for everybody listening, stay tuned for next time. Thank you for tuning in to our ASD Chat for All podcast. Check us out at www.asd4.org, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts for more. We'll be back soon with another episode, so stay tuned.